Hello, what we're, we're going to do today is we're going to start our project one. Okay, we're going to do doing the ping game. In this project, we're going to create a two player video game called Ping. We're going to add a background, a ball, a center line, paddles, a score object, and um, text to the game. So we're going to set the paddles to move when the players press keys on the keyboard. We're going to create events that make things happen so the ball bounces off the paddle. The players get the point and the game ends at 13 points. We're going to make a start screen and a start button. We're going to be using a program called Multimedia Fusion 2 that you should have received this in the mail. If you haven't, you should contact um, tech support on your game design program here. You can push that button that says tech support, and that should take you to um, the help desk. And they sh you should tell them that you did not receive your Multimedia Fusion 2. Okay, in the program, they abbreviated as MMF2, and we're going to design ping using that. You should have a Multimedia Fusion 2 link on your desktop. I'm just going to click this here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the New button. And so now I have an Application 1 has appeared. What we see opened up is what's called a workspace. It has different tools, different views, different menus, and many features. You'll use different parts of the workspace when you create video games. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click down my view menu here and I'm going to look at, at toolbars. I want to make sure that I have my standard toolbar checked, my workspace toolbar checked, and my properties toolbar, toolbar checked. Make sure those are checked. Now also when you have your toolbars, make sure that you're, you don't have checked your navigate toolbar your run toolbar, your editor toolbar, your layers toolbar, your library window. Those should be unchecked, okay? So the, you should have three checked. Standard, workspace, and properties. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this application one and maximize it. And make sure that your workspace toolbar, I don't know where it is, but it should be under your properties toolbar. So just drag it until it's under the properties toolbar. We're going to set up two screens or frames for uh, ping. Here you see the two screens that are represented here. What's a screen? What is a frame? It's just a screen in your game. You can have any kind of screen. All it is is different parts of the of the game. Backgrounds. You have frames for characters, anything that moves, other features. Um, some uh, games have many frames. In our game, we just have two. So I'm going to name this frame. I'm going to right click where it says frame one here. I click rename. And I'm going to call this game. Now I'm going to rename the application as ping. So I'm going to right click on application one and click rename and I'm going to call this ping. Just click enter. So now I'm going to click ping and it's going to show me the settings here for for everything I'm going to do in ping. Now I can edit all of these and later I'm going to make this a little bigger so you can see all this. But these are the basic settings for the ping game. One of the first rules of computers is to save your files. The other rule, the second biggest rule of computers is back up your computer regularly. Some of you people have realized now after all this time that you gotta back up your computer. How many people have had files crash? I know you have. Well, the second big rule is save your projects, especially when you're dealing with computer programming because computer programming is gigantic files. And if you don't save it, all that work can be for nothing. <laughs> I'm serious. Now the next thing I need to do is save my project. 
So I go file, save as. And I'm going to go find my game design folder. So I click this down. I'm going to go into documents. I'm going to go to game design. I'm going to go in resources. I'm going to go in project one. And now I'm going to call this ping. So I just type in ping and click save. Now I'm through with lab one. I have my application here called ping. I have called my project ping and I've called my frame game. Here we're going to be using a section we call the frame editor. This is how the game looks right in this play area here. And you're going to see in your objects panel on this side a list of all the objects you have on your screen. Now I'm going to go to that workspace toolbar and double click game. Here we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to center this so I can see everything. Okay, we're going to use icons. Icons are just pictures that represent something. And when you, um, uh, when you hover over that like this, it'll usually give you what's called a tool tip. And the tool tip tells you what that icon stands for. This, cause this time it stands for help. You can see I'm in game. And if I hover over this, you can see I'm in settings. So what I'm going to change is the background color. I click the red, green, blue box here, and I click other, and I'm going to choose the maroon color, which is in the um, fourth row, first box right here. Click OK. Anytime you add something to a game, whether it be a pedal, a ball, a net, it's called an object. If it moves, it's called an active object. You can make it animate, okay? So the ball, the paddles animate because they move. And um, actually the center, the center line is considered to be animated as well. Now I'm going to insert an object. I go insert, new object. I use an active object, I click OK. Then I'm just going to click somewhere in my screen. One important command that you'll use in computers all the time is undo and redo. If you want to undo something like this is right here, that's a uh, control Z. If you want to do a redo like this is here, that's control Y. You can also use the undo and redo commands here on the toolbar and click this to undo it. That piece is gone, the active object is gone, and I can redo it and put it back in there. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the animation editor and turn this, this triangle into a yellow ball. So the next thing I'm going to do is double click my object here. That'll bring up my animation editor. So now I want to change the width, so I click this size here. And then I'm going to change the width from uh, 32 to 10, and the height from 32 to 10. And that's going to make this real small. I'm going to click Apply and almost disappear. See that there? Now I'm just going to have to change the color on this. Now I'm going to have to erase that turquoise color, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an eraser. So there's my eraser, and I'm going to erase all that color off my ball. Now I'm going to change it to a new color, so I click the, the um, fill color here, and I'm going to choose a brand new color for this. And I'm going to click OK. Click there. And click OK. So now it's changed to a little blue square. So now I'm going to add the center line. 
So I click once again insert, can click new object, and I click active once again and I click OK. I'm just going to put it somewhere. So once again I get that um, little, little uh, diamond, that little blue diamond. Now of course I'm going to double click this now. My animation editor comes up and I'm going to choose the size here again and I'm going to make the width 8 this time. And I'm going to make the height front. Okay, that's going to be 480. And I click apply. Now I'm going to erase this, right? So I click the eraser. You take away that turquoise. Next thing I do is take my bucket and take the color I want. Get me a light gray here. Or maybe I need to change colors. Yeah, we'll do this one. There you go. I'm going to click OK. I should be able to see this. Now we're going to move this in just a little bit. Here. Okay, so that does it for lab two. Make sure that you have um, both your active objects, your ball, your burgundy court, and your net, and you're all ready for level three. Thank you.